Imagine making six figures a year by hacking into company systems, legally. Or earning six figures by naming nail polish colors. How about getting paid to apologize on the behalf of others? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, buckle up, because today we're diving into eight bizarre work from home jobs. And these are jobs that could turn your wildest dreams into a paycheck. Now I know what you're thinking. Shane, I've heard all about the typical remote jobs. Customer service, virtual assistant, data entry, blah, blah, blah. But trust me, you haven't heard about these. These jobs are so weird, so unexpected, that they might just be your ticket to financial freedom. And trust me, I know a thing or two about unexpected career paths. I went from being homeless as a kid, to making six figures as a pharmacist, to working remote, and now making money as a YouTuber. So if I can do it, you can definitely do it too. But before we dive in, smash that like button if you're ready to get weird. And let's get started with our countdown of the eight weirdest work from home jobs. Number eight on the list is going to be a fortune cookie writer. Yes, you heard that right. Someone has to write those little nuggets of wisdom and it could be you. Now you might be thinking, Shane, are you for real? And I get it, I was skeptical too. But here's the kicker. There are 3 billion fortune cookies made every year. That's 3 billion fortunes that need writing. It's true. So how do you land this gig? Well, it's all about creativity and brevity. You need to craft messages that are short, sweet, and just vague enough to apply to almost anyone. Think of it almost like Twitter, but with a more crunchy delivery system. Now, here's someone who actually does it for a living. Matt Williams, co-founder of Open Fortune, writes fortune cookie messages inspired by philosophies like stoicism, and he integrates brand advertisements on the back of fortunes. And he oversees a creative team that keeps messages fresh and relevant through trends like optimism. Now, these jobs are few and far in between, but they do exist. And here's the salary of a fortune cookie writer working in a company called Roosters. They make about $25 to $31,000 per year. Now I know what you're thinking, but Shane, I'm not a writer. Well, let me tell you a secret. Neither was I when I started my YouTube journey, but I learned, adapted, and now look where we are. And anyone can write now using AI anyways. So don't let your self-doubt hold you back. And who knows, your words might end up in millions of cookies around the world. Now that last job is pretty rare, and chances are you're not going to find that many openings. But number seven on the list, has a lot more openings, and that's going to be a Netflix tagger. Yes, Netflix will pay you to watch TV shows and movies all day. But before you quit your job and grab the popcorn, let me break it down for you. Netflix taggers, also known as editorial analysts, as they're officially called, are responsible for watching Netflix content and tagging it with relevant metadata. And this helps Netflix's algorithm suggest the right content to the right viewers. So essentially, you're getting paid to binge watch and analyze. Now I know what you're thinking. Shane, this sounds too good to be true. And you're right to be skeptical. But in this video, we're proving that sometimes reality is stranger than fiction. So here's a post from someone wondering if the job is actually real, and the response says yes. The response also goes on to say that the pay is based on prior experience, but it can range anywhere from 80 to 200K. Here's another one from Greg Hardy of the original Netflix taggers. And according to him, a typical workday spans about eight to 10 hours, during which they could watch and evaluate up to four movies or several episodes of a television series. Now, Glassdoor doesn't really have data on the salary, but according to this person, the salary does range from 80 to 200k depending on the person's experience like I said before. So what does it take to be a Netflix tagger? Well you need to have a keen eye for detail, you need to understand storytelling elements, and you need to be able to categorize content effectively. And it's not just about watching, it's about analyzing. Now before you all rush to apply, remember the competition for these positions is fierce. But hey, it is actually possible to turn your Netflix addiction into a career. And by the way, speaking of unique opportunities, if you apply to any of these types of jobs, you're going to need a resume. And a lot of career coaches will make people pay for resumes, but I've actually put together a bunch of impact resume templates that are specifically tailored to remote professionals. And they're completely free. And you can check those out down in the description and the pinned comment below. Coming in at number six, we have a job that's all about energy and harmony. But it's not just any kind of harmony. We're talking spatial harmony, ladies and gentlemen. I present you the Feng Shui expert. Now, you might be thinking, Shane, isn't Feng Shui just moving furniture around? And I get it. I was skeptical too. But let me tell you, it's actually much more than that. It's all about creating balance balance in your environment to improve your life. I mean, if someone told me years ago that the placement of my desk could affect my YouTube success, I might have laughed. But hey, after trying everything to grow my channel, I'd probably give it a shot. I'm not superstitious, but I am a little stitious. And I do think that when you do work on YouTube, if you're editing videos or writing scripts, it's a really good idea to put your desk right next to a window that has natural light. That's exactly what I did, and I thought it was incredibly helpful. So there definitely is something to this feng shui. Now, what do these experts actually do? Well, you advise people on how to arrange their living and working spaces. And you do this to maximize positive energy flow and minimize negative vibes. 
So it's kind of like being an interior designer, but with a spiritual twist. So you might be helping business owners boost their profits or homeowners find love through strategic furniture placement. And it's all about tapping into the ancient Chinese art of placement. But Shane, I don't know anything about chi or energy flow. Well, let me tell you something. When I started on YouTube, I didn't know anything about algorithms or SEO, but this is the modern world, people. I learned, adapted, and now look where I am. It's all about understanding the principles and applying them creatively. Because you can learn just about anything on the internet for free or very affordably. And if you want to start on YouTube as well, I actually put together a free guide and it's called From Zero to Hero, The Low Tech Guide to YouTube Success. And you can check that out down in the description and the pinned comment below. That's right. I'm basically Santa giving away everything for free. And who knows, maybe you'll be making content about feng shui. Now, in terms of people doing this for a living, uh, this is Patricia Lohan and she's a feng shui expert. She offers one-on-one -on -one consultations on her website. And according to her bio, she moved to India to study as a yoga teacher, but eventually found her true calling in feng shui. Now there's no glass door data as to how much they make, but a feng shui expert who has entry level experience earns around $73,000 a year. Now we're getting into the top five and things are about to get even weirder. Our number five spot goes to a job that sounds like an oxymoron, but I promise you it's 100% legit. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the ethical hacker. Now, before you start thinking I've lost my mind, let me explain what an ethical hacker actually does. These are the good guys of the hacking world. They're hired by companies to find vulnerabilities in their systems, and they do it before the bad guys can exploit them. And it's kind of like being a secret agent, but with more computers and less martinis. So how do you become an ethical hacker? Well, first things first, you need to know your way around computer systems. But here's the kicker. You can learn a lot of this online. There are even certifications you can get, like the Certified Ethical Hacker or CEH. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Shane, I'm not a tech genius, but let me tell you something. When I started my YouTube channel, I knew nothing about video editing or SEO, but I learned, adapted, and now look where we are. And a lot of the best cybersecurity experts in the world never had a formal education. And the best part, many ethical hacker jobs can be done remotely. So you could be saving the digital world from your living room. Now, a typical day for an ethical hacker or a penetration tester or something like that, there's a lot of different names for the job, involves performing various types of security assessments, such as external or internal network tests, web application tests, or wireless networks network tests, and also writing detailed reports or findings and presenting results to clients through debriefings. Now let's talk money because that's what we're all here for, right? Ethical hackers earn anywhere from 96 to $180,000 a year. So they make serious bank. So yeah, this can be a really good one to get into. All right, nerds and knowledge enthusiasts, our next weird job is going to blow your mind. Our number four spot goes to the scientific journal article editor, specifically for non-native academics. Yes, you heard that right. You can make money by correcting geniuses in your pajamas. Now you might be thinking, Shane, don't you need to be an Einstein to do that? Well, hold on to your lab coats because it's not as impossible as it sounds. This job is all about polishing scientific diamonds in the rough. And it turns out one of the most valuable skills is just being really good at Googling stuff. Oh, and having a really good grasp on the English language helps as well. So what does it take to be a scientific journal article editor? Well, you need to have a sharp eye for detail and a love for proper grammar. You need to be able to understand complex ideas and make them crystal clear. And you need to have the patience of a saint dealing with a brilliant but wordy scientist. So it's kind of like being a translator, but instead of languages, you're translating genius into English. And the best part, you can do this job entirely from home. All you need is a computer and an internet connection and a subscription to Nerds Weekly. That helps too. But yeah, no need for a lab coat, just a good pair of reading glasses and a caffeine IV drip will do. Now, if you don't believe me that people actually make money doing this, this post describes a PhD student's experience editing academic papers for non-native English speakers, which led to paid work editing papers for Chinese academics, and they made a lot of money doing it, so much so that they were actually questioning the ethics of the practice. Here's another editor for the scientific journal articles written by non-native English speakers, and they're making money doing it as well. Actually, there's a lot of people who do this and they've gathered in the digital nomad subreddit. Now let's talk about money because that's what turns a weird job into a dream job, right? Well, in this position, you make anywhere from 30 to $100 per hour. But in this one post, he earned $500 per piece of paper. That's pretty amazing. And realistically, you're probably going to be doing this kind of in a freelance capacity or maybe a part-time capacity. However, it is possible to turn this into a full-time thing as well. Because if you build a reputation, you could be looking at six figures a year. And get this, with research booming in every field these days, the demand for good scientific editors is through the roof. That's right. Other people's groundbreaking discoveries could be your ticket to financial freedom. Just remember, in this job, the only experiments you'll be doing are with sentence structure. All right, we're into the top three now, and things are starting to get positively interesting. Our number three spot goes to social media managers for pet businesses. That's right. Talk about combining business with pleasure, spreadsheets, 
and squeaky toys all day. Now, you might be thinking, Shane, isn't that just a regular social media manager? And I get it. It does sound pretty standard at first, but let me tell you, promoting pet products is a whole different animal. It's like being a regular social media manager, but 100% more fluff. And in the world of pet businesses, cuteness is currency. I mean, when I was building my YouTube channel, I had to learn how to create content that would grab people's attention. And it's the same principle here, just with more barks and meows. So what does it take to be a social media manager for pet businesses? Well, you need to know your way around social platforms, obviously. But more than that, you need to understand what makes pet owners tick. You need to be able to turn boring pet products into must-have items and make even the most mundane dog food look like a gourmet cuisine. It's kind of like being a marketing wizard, but your wand is a squeaky toy. And your spells are hashtags like hashtag dogs of Instagram. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, but Shane, I'm not a pet industry expert. It's all about understanding your audience and giving them what they want, which is more cute pets in their feed. So there's not a college degree you need to get for this. The biggest thing you could do is just be a pet lover yourself. Now, if you don't believe that people can make money with this, well, this is Christy Atkinson, and on her LinkedIn profile, she writes, helping pet professionals grow their online presence and visibility through social media. That's right. She's a social media consultant and a manager for pet professionals. So let's talk money because that's what turns a weird job into a dream job. These professionals earn anywhere from forty to $67,000 per year, with top earners fetching over $100,000 annually. Not bad for scrolling through cute pet pics and coming up with puntastic captions, right? Now, if this job has got your tail wagging, make sure to hit that subscribe button because success in this field isn't just about who lets the dogs out, but who can get them trending online. Speaking of social media strategies, here's a quick story about Jay. He went from a dead-end job to a $60,000 a year gig at Microsoft through digital marketing. And like many of us, he had his lost years but found his path during the pandemic. And Jay's advice? Well, if you want to start off, just create a little website and play around with it. And if you're interested in following Jay's lead, check out the digital marketing course in the link in the description below. It might just be your ticket to a new career in tech. And by the way, it's completely free, so check it out. We're nearing the end of our list, but don't worry, we're not fading to black just yet. Our number two spot goes to color consultants. Yes, companies will pay you for your expert opinion on colors. It's like being a fashion guru, but for everything. Now you might be thinking, Shane, isn't that just interior design? And I get it, it does sound similar, but color consulting goes way beyond just picking paint for walls. Color consultants work with businesses to choose colors for their products, but also their branding, their websites, and even their uniforms. It's all about understanding the psychology of color and how it affects people's perceptions and behaviors. I mean, when I was building my YouTube channel, I had to learn about thumbnails and how colors affect click-through rate. It's the same principle, just applied to, well, everything. So what does it take to be a color consultant? Well, you need to have an eye for color, obviously, but you also need to understand color theory, the cultural significance of different colors, and how colors interact with each other. And it's kind of like being a scientist and an artist rolled into one. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, but Shane, I can barely match my sock. It's all about training your eye and understanding the principles. Just like this person, Jane, who spends her day meeting clients, helping them feel confident through color and style analysis, packing makeup orders, and staying connected via social media and virtual wardrobe tools. So let's talk money. Color consultants make about sixty-six dollars to $118,000 a year. Yeah. That's a lot of money for just being good at picking colors out. All right, folks, it's time to tee up for our next weird job, and that is going to be a virtual golf instructor. Yes, you heard that right. People will pay you to fix their golf swing through a screen, and it's kind of like being a golf pro, but with less sunburn and more buffering. Now, you might be thinking, Shane, how do I teach golf virtually? And I get it. I thought you needed to be on the green to improve your game as well. But in our world of video calls and smartphone apps, perfecting your putt has gone digital. I mean, think about it. How many times have you shanked a ball into the woods and wished for instant advice. Well, virtual golf instructors are the tech savvy caddies of the internet. They're like the Jedi masters of the fairway, guiding your swing from galaxies far, far away. Now I know what you're thinking, Shane, there's no way you can improve someone's golf game through the screen, right? Well, actually, trust me, it's more effective than you think. You have to set up a camera in the right way, but it's really all about analyzing video footage using motion tracking apps and providing real time feedback during a virtual session. So the person will basically record themselves golfing on a golf course, and then they'll send that information to you, then they'll get on a call with you where they set up their camera in such a way where they can golf in their living room or their office or wherever the call is. And it's actually much more affordable than hiring a golf instructor to go and golf with you. So it actually makes a lot of sense. Too much focus on the grip and you miss the stance, too much on the follow through and you miss the backswing. It's all about finding that sweet spot. So what does it take to be a virtual golf instructor? Well, you have to be good at golf in the first place. But more than that, you need to know how to communicate effectively through a screen and you need to be tech savvy enough to 
to use video analysis tools. So this guy, for instance, is a golf instructor and YouTuber. His name is Rick Shields, and he uploads his lessons online to be watched by a massive following. And he does offer consultations. Now, golf instructors in general make about sixty-four to one hundred and seventeen thousand dollars a year. So sometimes it does pay to play. So if this job has you itching to dust off the clubs, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, if you want to hear about some weird side hustles, I actually made a video on those. As I made a video about dirty side hustles. It went viral. People absolutely loved it. You know, these are side hustles you've probably never heard of before. So you'd probably like it, and you can watch it by clicking right here.